what is going on there YouTube your boy gorilla trucking back at it again uh, now I want to kind of give an update to my previous video I did talking about like what my experience has been so far at GP Transco now I've uh, started with them December of last year and we're still with GP hair's kind of shy gear need to get a haircut not rocking that GP cap right now so am I still there Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> um, and so far, we've had we've had our share of ups and downs. That's going to happen in trucking. Um, and honestly, the miles haven't really been what they need to be being. Um, I think I've been averaging like 22, 2300 miles a week, to be fair. All right, let's keep it a buck. A lot of that miles, a lot of those weeks were over the winter months. And all sorts of lovely things can screw up the game plan during the winter. Um, you know, we've had some, you know, ups and downs uh, since then now that the weather's kind of warmed up and stuff. Um, but still, they're getting me about, I think I'm averaging right around 2,300 miles a week. Um, now this past week um, even with some challenges um, up there in Maryland which Northeast man Northeast man if you know you know <laughs> um, Apart from some issues there and then some issues in South Carolina In the mountains If you know you know um, Even with all that all that hoopla 2600 miles and had it not been for some high level stupidity with uh, that lovely little South Carolina debacle um, yeah I easily could have crushed 3,000 miles this week no problem um, so I mean imagine what I can do if things run smoothly <sighs> um, but yeah like um, I got my um, bonus, um, extra cent per mile, uh, when I cleared that uh, six month marker there in June. Um, got my week's paid vacation. Uh, I'm going to be taking that around Labor Day. Um, so, I mean, everything they've been saying that they have direct control over has been on point. Good old, the teal tornado, <laughs> this little old freight liner. Still chugging right along, man. Yeah, like, just had to get a couple dry services done and one wet service. Um, and then there's been, like, a few things here and there, like the brakes overheated uh, when I was down playing in the mountains up there in Pennsylvania. Um, but, yeah, nothing really, like, crazy. Where, since I run my truck properly and... I'm not out here trying to super trucker it up. You know, I go at the speed limit, maybe a couple miles beneath, and ride that turtle lane. Let all these speedy Gonzalez dudes want to burn fuel. <laughs> go ahead, Hoss. Have fun being in the fuel aisles. <laughs> Have fun hanging out there, my guy. You know, I'm going to keep my fuel numbers decent. And what's crazy is um, the Opti Idle, we need to get that sorted because um, the Opti Idle and my battery powered EPU, like it's not running at peak efficiency. So it's like having to run the Opti Idle more than what it really should. So it's messing up my idle percentages. But still, with that, 6.5 miles per gallon, that ain't hateful. And there's a lot of our drivers rocking this same spec dot truck with the Opti Idle EPU working synced up like it's supposed to that are rocking like eight, nine miles per gallon. Um, so that's a win for the company and that's a win for those drivers because then they get that little fuel bonus at the end of the month. Um, but then it's also a built in win on top of that because overall, that's less fuel stops you're having to do and more time you can stay running 
Wheels ain't turning. You ain't earning. Um, but yeah, still rocking with my same dispatcher. He's still an awesome dude. Um, the freaking headquarters, still awesome. And what's what's really cool, you know, if you can't tell, I like to eat. <laughs> and being like situated there in Joliet, there's so much bomb food in the Chicago land area. Let me tell you. You know, yeah, so being able to like, you know, you shut down there for a 10 or like a 34 or whatever, and then, you know, maybe bobtail, you know, PC over somewheres, or, you know, get one of their old loaner cars, you know, that Chevy Trailblazer they got, you know, that that's my favorite, that's my favorite, that's my baby. You know, I'll rock the other ones they got, but that Trailblazer, I think it's fun. It's real nice, real comfy, it's a good ride. I want to get one with my darn self, man. Um... But yeah, there's like so many dope places that you really can't get all like that. Um, you know, I'm I'm from Ohio, so yeah, like being able to hit up that um, Crepe Avenue, bro, they're right there um, at the Oasis as you're crossing over the Indiana Illinois border. Um, they got I guess like Baltic food or whatever super healthy super good bra <laughs> and it's like half hour drive from headquarters depending on chicago traffic that can i-80 can be a bear like most of the time <laughs> other than that um yeah man it's saw company i now you gotta have some experience um, you got to make sure that you have a solid record um, and all that. And that's kind of, you know, a little bit of the secret sauce to the company's success. Like, they're not just letting anybody, you know, drive here. Like, you got to kind of prove yourself first. And then you take care of them, they take care of you. As it should be. But, yeah. So far, here it is. August. Um, I'll have a year in here and like four months still a solid company man and uh, we're, we're working on getting those miles together uh, after this week I got a feeling this upcoming week um, we should be able to kind of turn the page on those miles and keep it rocking and rolling but yeah man like I I pay attention you know when I'm when I'm out here, as you should. You know, and I I see what's going on with some of these trucks out here, and then I pay attention to the different you know trucking boards and whatnot, and hear what some drivers are going through, and see the pictures of their equipment. Dude, I, I don't know how these people are still staying in business. Make it make sense. <laughs> Like, dog. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how these people were passing DOT inspections with some raggedy tires and raggedy brakes and their whole thing is just super raggedy and busted and you want to be phew, doing like 5, 10 miles over the speed limit roaring past me with your busted truck. That's on you, Hoss. <laughs> I'm going to go slow. I'm going to go like, you know, maybe a mile or two under the speed limit. Give you plenty of distance to get out of my work zone. That way, when inevitably you screw up, I ain't in it. And I can whoop, go right around you. Um, but yeah, man. You know, like I was saying before, you know, if you got some time in the game, you would be doing yourself a tremendous disservice to not at least call. Look up their phone number. GPTransco.com. It's like right there. <laughs> um, talk to a recruiter. You know, let them know what, what you need. Let them know where you're based out of. And, you know, see if what they have to offer matches what you need. Um, we cover the entire lower 48. Um, I've been able to visit family out in Texas a few times. Um, been out to Nevada a 
Wyoming. Gorgeous. Um, North South Dakota, North South Carolina. I think about the only states I haven't been to so far is Vermont, Maine, and then um, like the Pacific Northwest, California. Um, and uh, Iowa. I think that's about it. Iowa and Idaho. Then just about, oh, and the Arizona and New Mexico. Haven't been there yet. Looking forward to it. Um, other than that, I've, everywhere but like Alaska <laughs> and Hawaii. Uh, I, I don't think we're going to be taking any loads to and from Hawaii anytime soon, but you know. <laughs> Overall, man. Solid company, dude. This old Cascadia is still rocking and rolling. Got it all set up the way I like it. It's good stuff, dude. I still need to hook up those uh, antennas for my CB. Um, I found out what mountain kit I need to get. Um, found out what uh, antennas work really well. So it's just a matter of sitting by a truck stop, picking it up, and scheduling the time with the shop to uh, do the install for me and then I can be uh, having a hooked up CB. A uh, chair, yeah, dude. Holler at him. I mean, honestly, you could do way worse. I've seen it. And I've been with way worse in my trucking career so far. And yeah, man. GP Transco, baby. I'll add them.